Some of you may have seen my Instagram post asking what you thought this was. Well, I'm here not only to explain it, but to show you how I use it. All right, so I'm going to cut this string here to make some bracelets. And I need them to be approximately two meters in length. So what I've got here are these handles. And I'm going to put them about a meter. That's about a meter right there. I'm going to clamp this down to the table in order so that I can wind the string around it. Now the, the advantage here is that uh, I can cut several strings to the same length all at once. So what we have are just some handles I got at a hardware store. I pick them up at a Ikea or wherever. And I'm just going to take this first string and I'm just going to clamp it right here. I take my yarn and kind of come up and around. Again. Again. And the fourth time, come right back to here. So as I bring this fourth one around, this is the, the, the last one, I make sure that I come across this edge here because I want it cut as well and I make sure that I cut through all of these at once. And just like that, I have four lengths of string. Okay, so there we have four strands already cut, all the same length. And with the same setup still, I'm gonna now take the solid color that's gonna go with those variegated, bring it over here, clamp it down, and this way they too will be of that same length. This is going to uh, make this portion of the bracelet making considerably faster than if I were trying to use, say, a ruler or something else to make it. And again, see, just bring that fourth one around and make sure you cut them all at once. And that's it. So what are you going to do with all your extra time now that you can cut strings so efficiently? Enjoy a nice drink? Maybe watch another tutorial? Well, whatever it is, this is Kevin, also known as AWOL, and until next time, don't get your strings in a bunch.